live by hello. Um, if you're here right now and it just opens, uh, I'm just currently getting things ready. I'm uh, picking what we're going to work on today. So, you know, that's that. It's just going to take a minute. Ooh, why is it screaming so low? That's weird. Hang on. Why is why is it doing that? Oh, it's auto. Okay, yeah, I, I'm using different setup settings today. Hopefully it also helps. <laughs> I switched my platforms. Okay, sorry, I'm just getting one more thing, and then we're going. Uh, studies. Nope, we want methods. Going through the folder. Um... And let's do some Luis Maggio again. Okay, so here we go. Let me let me open up my OBS. There it is. And let's get these settings right. Is that not useful to anybody? There we go. Um, so we've done the Luis Maggio before in the past. Um, I want to do it again today as we start. So yeah, the goal today we are going to sort of follow suit of what we've been doing. Um, I, I have feedback from, from actually a, a couple people that they really like the, uh, the call and response we did yesterday. So we're going to do a little more of that today. Um, I'm going to get the water out of my horn to start. I need a metronome. I need to get a metronome, or else this is this is all in vain. So let's just get our metronome out. Uh, drone. Uh, some people have asked what I use for drones. It's called dronetonetool.com. Um, here we go. So we're just gonna jump in. Uh, Louis Maggio. Um, I'll play. Y'all play back. We'll do this um, call and response thing. So that was gonna work. Uh, four prep beats, I'll play, four beats you play, and we'll just go through the exercise. So one, two, all open. <laughs> We're just going to go right on to number two. All one and two. Two and three. And then one and three. this um we're gonna jump to warm up b uh same thing i'll play y'all play it back or just keep the same rotation going um sort of call and response doing that a little more so starting with number one um in the register it's written one two three use only f horn fingerings Only on the F horn. There's your metronome. Sorry. 
Well, number two. One. Big breath and go. Now, one and two starting. All normal fingerings F horn. And number three. And the last one, all F fingering still. the start so far so we're gonna keep going um, hang on, I'm gonna figure out what I do no we're gonna do something else um, as this let's, let's jump right into um, the, the French horn lip slurs uh, of course it's already buffering <laughs> uh, the beautiful fun my stream health is good. <laughs> no drop rims. All right, well, you know, this is the fun of everybody using the internet. All right, so we're going to do this. I know we did like 1, 5, and 8 yesterday, I think. Let's start with 16 right there. Um, and we're going to do the same tempo. So here's 16. And let's just do this call and response again. Uh, we're going to start by going down the F horn. So starting F open. Ready? 1, 2, I play, you play. 3. Now you got eyes. Second valve. Seconds now. One and three, sorry. One and three. Cool. Hey, sorry, I realized my hotkeys that I set since I'm on a different OBS now uh, don't work, so that's why I keep forgetting to turn the metronome. I will do it. Uh, so now we're going to do 16, but we're going to send up through the B horn. If you don't have a B horn, uh, do it in your brain. Just use the normal fingerings. So here we go. Ascending. Starting F open again. Bum two three. B 
flat one too. <laughs> And B flat open. Okay. Um, let's let's build on this a little bit. We're gonna crank the tempo, crank the tempo up to seventy six. So we'll, we'll bump it up a little bit. Um, same thing, but let's do. Um, that one there. We're gonna do nineteen. Leave that highlighted. There we go. Uh, number nineteen. Um, call and response again, just because that's what people like. And we're gonna start two three, on the F horn. And work our way up the B all the way. So starting on an A flat on two, three. One, two, I'll play first. Three. <laughs> First foul, two, three. First foul. Second foul. Two, big breath and go. Open, F open. Two, breathe and go. Thumb two, three, or B flat two, three. Sorry, three, me again. Stupid metronome, sorry. There we go. Uh, thumb one, two, B flat one, two. B flat open. Three. Go. Awesome. 
Uh, there's some easy lip warm ups. I'm gonna open one file really quick while we're hanging out here. If you're here, go tell your friends to come here and we can play the thumb as well. Um, I'm just opening up my VC studies. Check what's flow, sorry, there we go. Let's get those open. Sorry, I should have had these open. Just made a whole video about setting up and being like, have everything open, and I didn't. Um, yeah, you can see them. Perfect. Let's take in a little, little bit of zoom. Close that window. Okay. There we go. Um, we're gonna do this over a drone as always. So, uh, the drone will be on a concert F. Um, let's just call and response again. This needs to be working. I think the other benefit of call and response is it's gonna force us to take breaks as we go. So I'm just gonna share this really quick again. There we go, cool. Um, all right, it's out, it's in the world. So yeah, call and response over top of a drone. So let's start. Uh, we're gonna start with VC1s. Um, I'll play it, play it back. We're hearing a, we're not hearing anything. There you go. You're hearing an F. Concert F. RC in the drone. Um, call and response. VC1. Um, I know all the other days we've done it on a metronome. Today, what I want us to focus on mic is using the crescendo to increase airspeed and also as we get further into the VCs and they get longer accelerate through them um, I like to think where we start the first three notes to sort of establish our sound and where how we blow through the horn right down the middle so the first three notes for us establish that's so what we're gonna do do it either way I'm gonna bend the first two notes the three notes um, you can play them normally or bend them it just helps me find right where the middle of that note is. So let's do VC1 again <clears throat> and sort of just use your air to guide you through it. Um, I'm bending. So I always think too that we want to do the VC for a full lung of air. And when we come down, especially because we have a, gr a drone happening, use that as an opportunity to find where those notes fit inside that chord um, in just diatonic tuning. Let's just do VC2, I'm gonna keep bending. So when I see three, I mean like one, two, three. So now we're doing uh, that one right now. Third line. Awesome. So one thing you heard I did as I was coming down, I, I landed on the E and I started moving it around because I didn't like where it was. Um, it, it wasn't resonating in tune, so I was trying to find it. Now let's go on to number four. So the next line down, um, I'm going to bend. Uh, 
Uh, the next thing we're, we're going to keep going, um, if you have the air for it, um, and you're playing a horn, what I like to do is we're going to extend the intervals down the harmonic series at the end, now that we're on number five. Um, so we're going to add G, C, if we have it. Um, I'm going to keep doing an air attack. I'm using a who attack, and I'm going to keep bending down to the F sharp just to try to get my chops to work. So this is number five going up to the F. Okay, now, so when we get to this part of the VCs, um, start ramping up the speed of the exercise to get up there, right? It, it works, we talked about it yesterday, this idea of like, these are my lips, right? That if we're going fast with good air, it keeps the lips from clamping and it lets them vibrate around that air column. Um, it also gives us more air to get into the low range. Um, also, if you feel like you don't want to go into that low range or it's a struggle, don't. Um, I'm doing it because I need to do it. So now we're going up to the G. I hope I waited long enough to scroll. Uh, we're going to go up to the A now. Um, and I'm going to buzz it first. Just because I haven't done buzzing yet today. And anyone who's been here... Is this day five already? I think this is the fifth day. We do a lot of buzzing. I do some buzzing. So here's the number... The one that goes up to the A. Buzzing first. I just buzz along this first one. You have the drone, so find the fifth in your ear. Oh, oh, oh. I'm going to take the bend out, and we're just going to blow straight through the horn. And go. Awesome. Uh, we're going to go up to B-flat next. Anyone just joining, we're doing sort of call and response if you're wondering why I'm just sitting here. Um, the whole idea, uh, we, we tried it yesterday, it went really well. Um, I play, y'all play back, or you get to do it twice, who knows. Uh, up to the B-flat, I'm again focusing the air speed and not letting the lips clamp. So use the crescendo, use velocity to keep the lip from clamping down. And finally, let's reach all the way up to the high C. Um, I always tell people, you just want to throw for it. Um, don't commit to it. Commit to the note after it. So you just flick the lip up to the high C. Um, and if it doesn't come up, whatever, it doesn't come up. Uh, the important is the process of the air. So here we go. Over that drone, so we're nice and in tune. seats um we've done some lip slurs we've done some long, like some vcs we haven't done long tones yet today did we no we didn't um what could a call and response be for long tone if that works i don't know 
I can't think of one, so we're gonna skip it. <laughs> I'm actually I'm gonna think about that for tomorrow. Some long tone call and response stuff. Um, here's what I want to do now. Um, that's not good. Let's make sure we can see this well. There's always a game trying to get this right. Okay. Um, hopefully you can see that well enough. Th this is the stamp thing. I want to just do a couple lines from up here. Um, like the DCs, these are going to be free. Um, and we're not even going to use a drone. We've just done a drone a lot, so hopefully you have it in your ear. Um, call and response. Again, the idea is just blowing straight air through the horn, moving the fingers, and not actively trying to play the next note. So there we go. Um, I'm going to highlight because this is going to be a bit of a crack. Shoot. Starting with that one first. <laughs> So the next one be natural with these focus on blowing just constant air um and you we talked a little bit about vowels yesterday maybe i use vowels and just use the shift right it, this is sort of lip slurs and vcs ideas all in one um we're just working to build our efficiency to blow straight air be natural i'll shut up and play more <laughs> Do them all in the F horn. All right, B flat, all F horn. Take it away. One and two, and I like to think, like the VCs, as this exercise goes on, we ramp up the air, and we're aiming for that note right there. So the air, we, like the VC, we establish our air, and then we accelerate it towards that last A, and then we relax down. Oops, I don't need a comment. Please, no. All right, that lives there for a bit. I'll fix that later. Here we go, A natural. <laughs> First three notes, regular fingerings, and then everything else is one, three for the G one. Play it back. Uh, we'll do the F one. First one, for, again, first notes are normal fingerings, and it's all one, two, three. Now we're in B flat horn land, so first three notes on F, and then everything else is thumb open or B flat horn open. <coughs> Thumb two sequence. one sequence. Playback. B flat one two sequence. Two, 
three sequence. Thumb two three sequence. <laughs> Now we're going to keep going through this page. Um, here it is. Uh, no, that's not it. Here. Highlight. We're doing that one right there. All thumb open. Or no, no thumb. All just F horn open. And again, we're starting. I'll highlight one more time. That C line right there. Now we're really trying to start connecting our ranges. Hey, remember. The first three notes establish the airflow, then we just carry that forward. Add the E on the way down. And go. All right, now. We're doing thumb two three or B flat two three sequence. Okay, and now thumb one two sequence. I know it's not written here, we're going to go up to thumb one sequence, we're just going to continue the pattern, so going up a semitone, up a whole tone, so we go E flat, F, E flat, and then the slur pattern. <laughs> Sorry, uh, what? Where am I? Who am I? <laughs> Shouldn't touch it. I'll fix that. Thumb two sequence. So we're going up to the high B natural now. E to F sharp. Remember again, just throw for the top note. Don't worry too much about it. We're working more on airflow than other things. Um, play. Um, yeah, and again, this is the fun dynamic of this is usually I would have redone that one a few times to make sure the B natural works, but because it's sort of a group session, we just have to go. Uh, thumb open version or B flat horn open. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, one more time for me because I'm bad at horn. Something like that. Go. Yes, the water. It's a fun game, right? Close enough. Okay. Um, that was a lot of slurs. <laughs> what I want to do now, have you ever done VCs? Toy birds we did. Um, hang on. Here's the one I want to do. Do I? No, I don't. I'm, I'm full of lies. Hang on. We should do some Clarks. <laughs> let me just, let me get some things here.
so I, I should apologize in advance. This is probably the part where I, where everybody leaves. Because <laughs> um, if that name doesn't strike happiness, the thesaurus of scale and melodic patterns. This is a piano book um, I'm quite fond of. Um, it's just really good to build scale fluency. Um, I'm looking for it. Hang on. Oh, this is so nerdy. Let's do a tritone progression. Yeah. Um, let me. With, let's see how we can get this to fit. If it if this isn't readable, I'm just not gonna do it. Okay, we can make that work. We can make that work. We got this. Okay. So this is a, a crapshoot to look at. Um, <laughs> we're only gonna play the top voice today we're gonna stop at the g we're not gonna go to the top c so it's it's a tritone progression but it's being interpolated as a single note so it's gonna sound like this if you ever want to know like hey what do new music people do this stuff really exciting 257 pages of scale patterns woof all right i'll play first we're going slow we're going slow play any articulation you want um if you say hey matt i don't have the range for that i have the range to go cdc go do the segment you're comfortable with play <laughs> nice let's do this first let's start with just the the this I, I can't highlight this part right here the let's just play this together i'm gonna cue them ready here's the first note the c play through that a few times sort of on your own or we'll do call and response ready and try to match my dynamics and articulation Now we're going to go back to the interpolation of it. Slow again, do a call and response. Right, if we have some fun let's let's look over here the, the quarter note the progression i'm gonna play a bottom bass clef voice pick another voice play it yourself i'll cue each note here's the first one <laughs> the dog wants in all right now we're in number two so it's the same pattern but it's still a tritone the tritone always lands on the downbeat but now it has a major second instead of a minor second right this is this is just building your ears tritone's a great place to start because i don't know tritones are super easy to hear I, I always, for me at least people are always like oh i hate tritones are so hard to play i'm like oh it's so easy right it's the equal division of an octave and where do you want in life? It's a, it's an equal division. Yum, bum, beam, bum, bum. Ah, it's great. Okay, so here we go. Number two, call and response version. <laughs> Again, 
play any segment of You Can. Go. All right, now let's do it all slurred. <sighs> Cool, and I'll say again too, if, if you can only do an octave worth, just do an octave worth. Do it twice or something. The, the goal really here is ear training and musicianship, and we're just using scales to build that, or, or interpolations of, of note sequences. So let's do number three. And if we look at number three now, you can go, oh, okay. It's now using... Um, major thirds. I'm like, what are those called? So we're sending major thirds. Um, but again, remember the downbeats are still tritones. So it is still just, but now we're just adding more notes. I'm going to go slow on this one. I haven't done the ma major third tritone progressions in a while. I screwed up. What did I do? Besides missing the C like a chump. I'm gonna try it one more time. Um <sighs> C not being good today. Play it. Whatever segment you can. Awesome. And one thing I recommend when you do these is learn to hear the four notes set, right? So we're really listening for and then copying the same characteristic to other registers and trying to keep the timbre um, consistent. So it's not just intervals, ear training, and and hearing tritones. We're also working on tone color the best we can. Um, let's do four. I'm probably just going to go to the B natural because my C is not working. So I'm not going to force things. Uh, don't worry about the master chords. <laughs> um, don't worry about that. If you want to learn about it, get this book. Number four. Now we're at the perfect fourth. <sighs> What did I do? Sorry, I'm one more time. I'm losing the plot. I hit 45 minute walls right now. Wow. Okay, sorry, one more time for the dumb, dumb person in the room. <sighs> Take it away, y'all. Sorry. Try again. Uh, dummy. Okay. So, so this is going to bring us to our, our sort of end of things today. And what I want to do, um, it was a few days ago we did it. It's the things from the Solving Problems on the Horn book. So we're going to go um, G, C, right? Is that how the exercise works? C, F, B, B natural, F, E flat. So we're just going to go, Luke, let's call and response, starting on open. And all we do is throw the thumb or lift up the thumb if you're on B flat horn. So first, so B on C to F. Second bell. 
Play it. First valve to thumb first valve. One, two, 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 thumb one, two. There you go. Two, three to thumb two, three. Okay, now we're going to go from C to the pedal. So open to thumb again, but now we're going. Play that. And just remember, we're thinking keep the corners firm and engage the jaw. And drop it open. And we don't want to sag into the note. We want to think crescendo to the bottom note. And maintain contact with the mouthpiece. Uh, one, two, the thumb, one, two. Maintain contact, engage the jaw. Two, three to thumb, two, three. And now we're going to play a low F sharp. One, two, three. All the notes together. All the valves together is what I meant to say. Um, Thing about keeping the corners nice and engaged, don't get screwed off these bases. Corners good and tight. Now remember, it's about engaging the jaw. Last one together, breathe. And now we're going to play a big old chromatic scale from low C. That's it for today. Um, yeah, let me know. Do we like call and response? Do we want more of it, less of it, other exercises? I'm going to keep going, right? It, I think this will be the new pace of things. Um, unless people are like, no, I don't want it. Then just tell me and I won't do it. Um, again, we're just trying to figure this out as we go. Um, as usual, subscribe. Tell your friends. Uh, the more the merrier. I, I keep giving feedback and suggestions. Love to take it. Love to hear them when I get them. Thanks. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow morning. 10.30 Mountain Standard Time.